Can you give me a little bit of the, the history of the Charlotte's Writers Club? It was founded in 1922, so that makes it one of the, lar the, the oldest arts organizations in North Carolina. I don't know if we're the oldest, but one of the oldest. And it started off, I think, a little bit more of a social club, a reading club uh, for lovers of, the, of literature. And then it's just evolved over time. So it's going to be 90 years old, or no, is that right, 90 years old next year. What is the focus of the club? Well, we have a variety of, uh, of focuses. Um, we want to be a su support group for writers. So we offer workshops, contests. We meet once a month during the academic year and listen to presentations by established writers. And uh, we want to offer resource and networking for, for writers, but we also have members who are publishers, editors, people who love reading or literacy. Um, we're advocates for literacy as well. We have people who have published a number of novels, poets, playwrights have been produced, but we also have a number of young people who are just starting out who haven't published anything. I like the fact that it's very eclectic. We have journalists, we have fiction, the uh, mystery writers, we, I have a friend who writes zombie and vampire novels, and you have uh, academic poets, historians, a little bit of everything, um, and I think that's wonderful. It's not an academic group particularly, although we have certainly academic people in it. Um, but we have people who write bestsellers and so on. So, And then Charlotte's an interesting place because it's um, a large city, but it also has different kinds of communities, ethnic communities, and um, different kinds of groups, so that makes it fascinating. We have a lot of critique groups. And that's one of the things we offer to, to writers. I would guess maybe as many as half of our writers belong to a critique group. And these are typically four to six writers in a group. And you might be, it might be a novel group or a science fiction group or poetry, um, short stories, children's literature, a young adult. And you get together with these people and you read each other's work. And uh, well, writing is a very lonely kind of endeavor. You do that by yourself, but then you want to go out and and, and interact with other writers and get feedback before you send it to the publisher. So we offer a lot of that. We offer opportunities for new writers to connect with people, get a mentor, join a critique group, and listen to these presenters come in. We have an, a number of great writers who come in to talk about their writing. They read from it and then they talk about how they wrote or and they answer questions and about publishing. We have the, the, the man coming in at our September meeting Kevin Morgan Watson is the founder and editor of Press 53, which is one of the leading independent publishers in North Carolina. And he's going to talk about getting published with an independent press, which is a little bit different than some of the mainstream. Um, the novelist, Susan Hassler, who's coming in October, has published with a mainstream publisher, so she can talk about that. And um, so we, we try to offer a lot for our members.